really interesting thing is that um, I don't know what the hell he was singing about because I was so into the music, right? And the lyrics are right there, right? It was a gift. <laughs> it was a layup. All I had to do was just look at the lyrics. And by the end of the song, I would have kind of had an idea of what he was singing about. I was so entranced by the music. I didn't know what the hell he was singing about. <laughs> but that's the beauty. It's the beauty of actually having the lyrics on the other side waiting for me, which I do. Hey, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Into the Music, another Mona Skin episode. It's been a while since I've actually said that. Um, wow, well, I think since late January. Yeah, that's too long of a time. huh? No, absolutely. I mean it. Um, actually, I'm ashamed. <laughs> I am because I know that a lot of my subscribers are because of this band. And so if you're watching right now and you've been waiting patiently, thank you so much. Um, you know, there's the job, my full-time job, there's the family uh, and there's all these roads that have been going down with different music, uh, but there's no good excuse. I mean, I mean it, I really do. Uh, so I deserve every bad thought that maybe folks out there have been having about me it's like when the hell is he gonna react to this band again <laughs> all right maybe you haven't been that angry um but if you were um i would actually understand so enough of that nonsense right uh what song am i gonna do well you know that already because you clicked on the link uh so you know it and i say that because i'm not gonna even try to even pronounce uh the italian name of the song um i love it it I think it's probably, you know, the way it's said is probably beautiful, like um, all Italian uh, language. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I don't know how to really say this. So that said, I do have the, um, the English translation, and it's I Will Die Like a King. That's a pretty cool title. I hope it's a pretty cool song. Uh, Mona Skin usually doesn't let me down, right? So here we go. And it was going to be a ballad or a rock, you know? Either way, I love their ballads as much as I love their rock. So uh, here we go. It's a live version. And uh, yeah, I will die like a king. I knew it. E allora prendi la mia mano per la signorita Disegniamo sopra il mondo con una matita Resteremo appesi al treno solo con le dita Pronta che non sarà facile tutta in salita Allora prendi tutto quanto Baby prepara la valigia Metti le calzarete in tacco Splendiamo in questa notte grigia E amore a chianto It would be criminal For me to continue without pulling back and starting this damn thing over. <laughs> I was so smooth. I was so smooth. The guitar, the bass, and then Damiano's just singing the cadence. Wow. All right, here we go. Signorita, disegniamo sopra il mondo con una matita Resteremo appesi al treno solo con le dita Pronta che non sarà facile tutta in salita Allora prendi tutto quanto Baby prepara la valigia Metti le calzarete in tacco Splendiamo in questa notte grigia E amore accanto a te Baby accanto a te Io morirò da ri E amore accanto a te Baby accanto a te Io morirò da ri Base. Oh. Ed anche quando starò male sarò troppo stanco Come poco avanzerò per prendere tutto quanto Ciò che aspetta ed essere pronto ad affrontare il branco Non voglio tornare indietro adesso parto Allora bevi, 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 asciuga il pianto Bevi, 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 bevi dal mio piatto Sì tu puoi cadere in piedi anche dall'alto Sì tu puoi cadere in piedi anche dall'alto E amore
muore accanto a te, bevi accanto a te, io morirò da lì Tutto quello che fa comodo e sincera Apri la vela, dai, viaggia leggera Tu mostra la bellezza, questo popolo è Marlena Vinci la sera e spogliati in nera Prendi tutto quello che fa comodo e sincera Apri la vela, dai, viaggia leggera Tu mostra la bellezza, questo popolo è Marlena Vinci la sera e spogliati in nera Prendi tutto quello che fa comodo e sincera Apri la vela, dai, viaggia leggera Tu mostra la bellezza, questo popolo è mio Amore accanto a te, baby accanto a te, io morirò da re And that was how it began. <laughs> and I had to pull it back. That was so good. Uh, and then, yeah, the rest, the rest was history. <laughs> um, now it's really another Monoskin rocker, you know? Uh, this band just knows how to jam. The band knows how to jam. The rhymes, what a nice sort of rolls off the tongue. It's true. It's true. They just know how to jam the heck out of the instruments. Um, I don't know who was really coming on top here, right? Because I thought, I thought Victoria with the bass. I mean, the bass line was so cool. And then there was that moment in the song where the band kind of pulled back and she was doing her and she has, I love the way she prances, you know, it's like kind of like, you know, like, you know, she's prowling, right. You know, she's on the hunt, you know, and she's doing that with her bass, you know, it's like, that's her, you know, that's her instrument. That's her weapon. Um, and, but that bass sound and right there, you know, when it kind of like she was in the spotlight, that was so cool. Uh, but Thomas, with his guitar, um, providing such a great um, riff and rhythm, you know, basically a rhythm guitar. But what's so cool about him and that it's a little bit of like a Pete Townsend kind of thing, you know, where, um, you know, he, he, he mixes in uh, into that rhythm guitar. You know, he does some little sort of solo notes that go up the neck, you know, and then he goes right back into the rhythm supporting the song. That's so cool. Uh, he's so, so accomplished with that. Um, I mean, for one guy, guitarist, I mean, he, he just adds so much sound. You know, he doesn't fall in love with the solos. You know, he, he, it's like, he's like an old soul with his guitar because it's a throwback to a lot of the bands that I love from the 70s and even the 60s, you know, where, you know, get that rhythm get that rhythm guitar, you know, and uh, I mean, that's going to carry that song. That's going to be the foundation. So, um, so yeah, he's true to that. And uh, yeah. And, um, and Ethan, how can I forget his name? The drummer. <laughs> yeah, he's rocking and rolling too, man. He's really, he's really killing it. Um, yeah. It, it just really great song. Um, the cadence of Damiano uh yeah i mean uh you know and then sort of towards the end i think he really starts ramping up his vocals um again you know that sort of uh that trademark emotion that's coming out of damiano's voice his vocals you know he's just pouring it just pouring it out and the really interesting thing is that um, 
I don't know what the hell he was singing about. Because I was so into the music, right? And the lyrics are right there, right? It was a gift. <laughs> it was a layup. All I had to do was just look at the lyrics. And by the end of the song, I would have kind of had an idea of what he was singing about. I was so entranced by the music. I didn't know what the hell he was singing about. <laughs> but that's the beauty. It's the beauty of actually having the lyrics on the other side waiting for me, which I do. So uh, let me get into the lyrics. I did pull up a little information, though, about the song from Wiki. And what did they tell me? It was 2018, the lead single from their debut album. I'm not going to try to even say that name, too. Um, I mean, why would you leave such a beautiful language in the hands of me to like maul it by accident with no intention of doing that. Um, I'm like really nervous about that. <laughs> I'm kind of serious. Um, yeah, I just don't have this intuitive. I love English and it's been my whole entire life actually publishing, believe it or not. Um, that has been my career. <laughs> but you would think that I would be really intuitive with these sort of um, words, challenging words. Oh, I can pronounce them. I don't know. Sometimes I'm just like, you know, which way do I go? Anyway, enough of that digressing. Um, the final track of the album, the song represents the first, this is Wiki, represents the first unpublished publication of the group to feature Italian language and was composed during the days off from the first tour held following their success at X Factor Italy. Cool. Regarding the meaning of the text, uh, Mona Skin explained that it concerns redemption. There's a quote here, but it's not actually saying who said it. It just, it, it's attributed to the band. So the quote is, from evil, good can be born. Good can be born by, from evil, good can be born. That's interesting. Good can be born by believing in oneself and never giving up. That's true. With our badly judged arrogance, we want to send a message to our generation. Be sure of yourself. Okay, that's a strong message. Cool. So let me get into Ah, oh, now I'm really... See, is that cool how I'm shifting from the very good music to now? I can't wait to get into the lyrics. So here we go. Uh, the intro. <laughs> so this is genius.com and they have the intro as, hey, it's Mona Skin. Yeah. Is that what he's singing in, the, in this live performance? Does he actually sing that? Um, again, I wasn't paying attention to the lyrics. I know. Uh, here we go. Verse one. So then take my hand, then beautiful senorita. Actually, can I put my glasses on? I read better. With, and I just went like 10 years older, huh? Oh, well. Um, but, oh my God, the words are so big now. Right, here we go. Uh, so then take my hand, then beautiful senorita. Let's draw in the world with a pencil. We'll keep hanging on the train with our fingers only. Get ready. It's not easy. It's, an, it's all uphill. So then take everything. Baby, get your suitcase ready. Put on your fishnets in the heels. We're shining in this gray night. Chorus, love beside you, baby beside you. I'll die as a king. Hey, yeah. Love beside you, baby beside you. I'll die as a king. Hey, yeah. Um, and it just repeats that a few times. Okay, it repeats that a lot. Verse two. And even when I'll feel sick and I'll be too tired, like fire, I'll keep going to take everything it's owed. You need to be ready to take on the pack. I don't want to go back. Now I'll go. So baby, 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 dry my tears, drink, drink, drink from my plate. Yes, you want to fall on your feet. Even when fallen up from high. Yes, you want to fall on your feet. Even when fallen from up high. And, I, you know, I don't know. I know I'm going to have to um, take the band for what they said about the song. I'm just not, I don't know. Maybe, it, maybe it's late at night. And I'm not, 
I'm not intuitive um, as I should be about what the song is about. Um, I'm trying to connect these lyrics here with what I just read uh, in Wiki. Yeah, about the good coming out of the evil. I'm not getting that. Folks, let, let me know. Let me know. Um, chorus, love beside you, baby beside you, I'll die as a king. And repeats that. And then here we go. Verse three, Marlena, win over this evening. Take everything that you might need and be sincere. Open the sail. Come on, travel lightly. Show beauty to his people. And Marlena, win over this night. Strip black, take everything that you might need and be sincere. Open the sail. Come on, travel lightly. Show beauty to this people. And I... So it's just show beauty to, to the people and also to him, right? Is that it? Oh, of course, here we go, the same thing. Love beside you, baby beside you, I'll die as a king. Hey, yeah. Is that what takes the song out? Or is it one more verse? Yep, that's it. Okay. You know, as usual, uh, even though I'm not, you know, it's not really dawning on me. <laughs> Again, I know what I read in Wiki, um, but... A lot of times I'm like, I'm able to come up with something. Um, I'm not, I'm not getting the real meaning from these lyrics, but they are interesting. And is this Damiano again, writing the song? I know, I think the band likes, I think the songs get attributed to the whole entire band, but I think, right? But isn't it like Damiano writing most of the lyrics? Yeah, they're always interesting. Um, I wonder if the song, uh, I wonder if the Genesis was really more than music, you know, cause that sounded like a jam, you know, that sounded like it was just, if Damiano just took the mic and just sat down on the side and just let them play. Um, I think the song would have been, uh, this not just in the lyrics at all. No, but I think this may have been a jam and they're like, Hey, you got anything? <laughs> it's like, yeah. Um, I wonder, I wonder how the song came about, uh, because it, that just seemed like just a jam, you know, where they could just hang back and just play their asses off, you know, and, um, uh, and make that interesting enough, just the music. And Domino and was like, Hey, I got these lines. I'm going to lay down. We got a song. Uh, I wonder. So, um, but I am talking to, uh, the experts out there, folks who know about this band, love this band. You can. Um, you can cite things, chapter verse about this band for me. So uh, do that in the comments. Enlighten me. Um, and in the meantime, uh, I really hope you enjoy this. I'll try to make the next uh, Mona Skin reaction a lot um, more sooner <laughs> uh, than the last one. Da -da -da. So um, thanks for your patience. And I hope to see everyone on the next episode, not just Mona Skin, but my next episode. Please support me on all the songs that I'm doing on this channel. I greatly appreciate that. I'll see all of you in the next episode of Into the Music.